everyone so today's video is going to be the long-awaited makeup collection slash organization area um i just wanted to say that this wasn't my most requested video actually you just said guys just wanted a room tour more however i'm working on my room right now we still have to get it painted and stuff so i promise that'll come as soon as we get it painted and things i'm waiting too i'm so excited but, as of now, I just reached 500 subscribers, actually, by the time this is up, probably around, like, 600. Um, so, yeah, or maybe 650 or something like that. But, thank you all so much. Um, and I told you guys at 500 that I would give you a makeup collection. So, here we are. And, disclaimer, of course, um, I pro I'm pretty sure I have more makeup than the average 13-year-old, you know, girl my age. Um, however, it's my hobby. I collect it just like some people collect other things. I collect makeup. You know, I need a good amount of makeup for YouTube because I don't want to show you guys, you know, the same product in every video because that would just be boring. So, you know, it works. That's why I have this much. Some may think it's a lot. Some may think it's a little. But let's go ahead and get started. And also thank you to my brother, Wesley, for holding the camera throughout this video. Here we go. So this is an overview of my collection. This actually used to be my old desk, um, however I decided to turn it into a vanity because I thought I would use that more than a desk. So this is a desk and a hutch that you had on from PB Teen from the Lilac Collection. I'll leave the link below in the down bar if you want to go check that out. It's amazing. Um, yes, I just I love it so much. And then this chair, which actually goes up and down. It's, like this. I also film on it. Oh, okay, okay, can't get it back down. But anyway, it's from TJ Maxx, um, in case you were wondering. And I'm also, during this video, I'm going to be telling you, well, hopefully you remembered to tell you where I got each container and stuff. So if you have any questions or if I leave something out, just ask me below. So, how are we going to do this? I guess I'll start from the top and go up. So, let's go over here. Okay, so first off, I keep my lipsticks in this little container. Um, this is from the container store. Uh, it was around like $6 or something, and it's just it's really nice. So I just have a L'Oreal Balm Revlon lipstick, my three lip butters, um, some baby lips. I have way more than these two, but they're like all over my house in purses, looks. in purses and stuff like that. So they're everywhere, but here are just two. Then my one matte lipstick, and then my four color whispers, because the day these like... They just came out and I like went sort of crazy in the store and had to buy many. And then over here I just have Wet n Wild lipstick and a Forever 21 lipstick. And then this is my e.l.f. 100 color palette. I just keep them on top of here because I don't really reach for that very much. Over here I just have a mini posy tint, um, a clear baby lips, a Kula little sunscreen mini, my Benetton EOS lip balm, and then over here I just have my brush that came with my Naked 2 palette. Now, this, I, it holds some of my palettes. This is actually a napkin holder from Target. I definitely recommend using napkin holders to hold your palettes because they're cheap and um, they're really great for holding palettes. So up here is actually a little benefit box that I got um, some products in. Um, so in here, I just took out like the little things and then made it into a little palette for all my deep potted eyeshadows and stuff. Ooh, blinding. Um, so if you want me to do a video on how to make your own little palette, then I definitely can do that. But that's what I just have there. And then here I have my two naked palettes, so naked one and naked two. Okay. In here is where I just keep my little Q-tips. I just have one right now. But, hopefully, I need to fill that up. And if you're wondering what this is, this is actually like a bowl, like a... a it has a lid, what is this called? A, um, a jar. Yes, a jar. <laughs> Thank you, Wes. Um, a jar, but uh, I personally hate tripods. I've had really bad experiences with all the ones I've gotten. So, <laughs> this is where I put my camera when I'm filming. So, in case you wondered, that's where you guys sit. Or she uses a during my tripod. Yeah, like today. <laughs> uh, so in case you're wondering, that's where you guys sit during my videos. Okay, then over here I have another napkin holder and two other palettes. This is my Sedona Lace uh, concealer or foundation palette that I just use for when friends come over and I need a color to match their skin. And then my Stila in the No Eyeshadow palette. Okay, let's move over here to my little sprays and stuff. Well, actually, back here I just have some green tea mints from Trader Joe's. Don't know why they're in there, but I have them. Mm -hmm. Then I just have brush cleaner, um, e.l.f. mist, uh, Juice Beauty hydrating mist, Urban Decay, um, you can't see, Urban Decay prep spray, uh, DIY makeup setting spray, oops, that I made, um, 
So yeah, that's that. And then my Urban Decay D Slick. And then this is a little depotted eyeshadow that broke. It breaks all the time though, so I have to remember to put that back together. So that's just there. And then I have my flat, some fake flowers and a mug base from Ikea. This little Big Sexy Hair Weatherproof Spray, which should be in my bathroom, but it's here for now. And then this is basically just for decoration. Just a little jar with some cute little, I don't know what those are called, little... Neither do I. Paper? No, I don't know, but that, that's what's in there. And Vaseline Lip Therapy, um, two gel eyeliners, and then in this little mug I got from Anthropology. I really like keeping my mascaras and eyeliners and brows, some brow pencils and stuff in here, so using mugs is great to hold brushes or like this kind of thing. So whew, in here I just have, let's see, Milani Brow, NYX Super Skinny, some just pencil eyeliners, uh, NYX, whatever that is, L'Oreal, Rimmel brow pencil, Stila, and then some mascaras in here as well. And okay, so that's all for this top part. Now I guess I'll move down and we'll go over. So, so first I'll go in this top drawer, which basically... Okay, so I, in here, it's sort of weird because my other drawer, which you'll see in a second, was overflowing with face products because I just really like face products. So instead of having that drawer like be open all the time because it's overflowing, I decided to keep just my BB creams and tinted moisturizers in this drawer. We'll see how I like this from now on. But um, I just have a Garnier, Maybelline, Too Faced, Little Minis, um, Urban Decay, and another mini from Pacifica. In this drawer, I keep all my lip glosses and stuff like that that's not over there, um, which you'll see in a second, but this really probably should be organized, but it's not. So I just have some Flower, Stila, Juice Beauty, Urban Decay, Bobbi Brown, Bombshell, Elf, Revlon, a uh, whole bunch of just lip glosses in there. I don't really like lip gloss, so I don't really reach for those often, but they're in there. And then I just have a Kleenex box. Handy. Okay, now we're going to go down here. So in here... I keep all of my loose eyeshadows and little eyeshadow palettes um, and loose eyeshadows that aren't in like a palette that I made like the benefit one over there. And something that I like to do if you get um, is using my birch box boxes to hold things like containers because they're basically free because I get them every month. And so that's what I use. You'll see in a lot of these drawers coming up. So I just have in here some like palettes like Wet n Wild, uh, Maybelline, Little Balm, little things. Um, BH Cosmetics, some pigments from NYX, uh, my Maybelline color tattoos, uh, primer potions, and then just some pigments and stuff like that. In this drawer, I keep all my powders and face like blushes and bronzers and stuff. So, um, in the, this is just a container I got like from the dollar store, which holds my blushes and bronzers. So Maybelline, NYX and MAC cream blushes, NARS, ELF, and Wet n Wild. And then here I just have some loose powders, not loose powders, pressed powders, MAC, MSFN, Natural, and um, Rimmel Stay Matte, and then a loose powder here. And okay, now we're going to come up here and go over this way. So back here I just have this little Neutrogena thing which held makeup and wipes. And here I keep receipts um, on recent makeup products that I purchase in case I don't like them and I want to return them. I'll have the receipts. And then this is my mirror from Target, I believe. And I really recommend this mirror because you can open it up. Ooh, there you are. <laughs> there I am. Okay, honey. <laughs> okay. Hello. So, I what well, the reason I like this mirror is because you can just you can yeah. You can adjust the light settings. So like in the morning before school, I can put it on like that one and it has like the lighting that they have in my school and things. And so yeah, it's really nice. It has the three sides, of course. Woo! And um, it's a great mirror from Target. I think it was like twenty-five dollars, something like that. And then out here, I just keep a this one of this oh a foundation from L'Oreal because it's super liquidy, and I don't feel safe laying it down because I feel it's going to spill. So I just keep it right there, and it's in a cute little bottle. Back here, I just have some homemade uh, powder. Don't really know why I still have that, but it's there. Burt's Bees chapstick. And, oh, this right here, this is, is a ch -ch -ch cover, like a calendar thing, but I still have the cover on it because I want to get a cover for my desk, like one of those clear ones, so I don't get makeup on it. But for now, I don't get, so I don't get makeup on the desk. I just have this here, and we'll go in this drawer last. But coming over here, hold on, come on this side of the chair. Okay, we're, I guess we'll start up here again. 
these two drawers have just random things. Like this has just miscellaneous, like not even rip to beauty things. This one I just have like band-aids and stuff in, so I don't really need to show you that. But here I keep my makeup brushes, and what I did was I just took a candle. I kept, I did took out the parts of a candle and washed it out and then colored rice with food coloring because uh, then it'll make the brushes stand up tall like this, you know, when they're like put in. So that's where I keep my my brushes at. And I have more than this, but this is just like my everyday brushes. So I have some Sedona Lace, Soho, Elf, uh, Bare Essentials, um, and then a Real Techniques. And then here I just keep most products that I just reach for a lot. So like using up my professional, some hand sanitizer, primer, beauty blender, another hand sanitizer. And then here are just some of my, my favorite lip products. So here I just have like some jumbo lip pencils. Uh, liners just because I only have two and I like to see them and then some stains and yeah just my favorite lip products of the moment going into this drawer this holds this holds all of my concealers and yeah concealers basically and some primers mini primers and again this is the top of a birch box okay so I just have a lot of Maybelline NYX um, Benefits Bobbi Brown Benefits and then some mini primers like Makeup Forever Pixie Laura Leon, Lawn Comb and Benefit. And then in here, what it was where I kept all my face products. Now I just have like foundations because as you saw earlier, I keep my moisturizers and you know that over there. Here I just have uh, Revlon L'Oreal and Maybelline and more Birch Box. And that is all for that. Now we have the last part, which is just this drawer, which basically has a lot of junk. And just products I don't really use, so not to begin, you can just stay there. Um, and this little part here, oh, this container here, I just got at Target. It's like has a whole bunch. They have like little ones too, um, like that just have like three, but it's really awesome. And in here I just have some mini mascaras and mini other products from Benefits. Here I just have some tools like my eyelash curler, which usually just stays out like there. Um, a, a mini kabuki brush, some Visine, a sponge. Sorry, the camera cut off, so now I have to re-all do this. But here's just some sponges and a pencil sharpener. Then back here I just have some more depotted things, like here's some depotted blushes and some more eyeshadows and little eyeshadow palettes and some products that I don't really use that much there. Back here I just have like all these little brushes and sponges, you know, that come in like drugstore palettes. Back there I just have some fabric markers. Here I just have brush cases and then the rest of my brushes are in here. Just brushes I don't really need or use that much. Um, and then here's just a bunch of random stuff. We got eyelash glue, eyelashes, depotted eyeshadow tins, which I don't know why I still keep them, but I do. Some, uh, what is this, highlighter paper uh, products, and then like a blush thing that I don't really use that much. So yeah, a lot of products I don't use besides those there, but um, yeah, that's what's in there. And that is all for my makeup collection. I hope you all enjoyed and maybe got some ideas for storage or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.